Hey, Collector. Thank y'all so much for being here with me. Tune in. It's happening. Y'all already know who and what it is. I'm Bucky and this is Sifter's Tea Tarot. We're about to tap in with Spirit and get the tea on your situation or whatever it is Spirit needs you to know at this time. Y'all already know the message is a general. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Everything you need to know about myself or my channel. It will be in the description box below. Also, any music that you guys may happen to hear, I do not own the rights to. All right, y'all. So we're just going to tap in real quick, get a quick message for you guys. I'm hearing that patience is needed and to embrace whatever this situation is. Patience, embrace, and discern, uh, discernment. Yeah, seek um, seek guidance and knowledge on whatever it is that's causing you any type of confusion. Collective. Yeah, also, you can benefit from changing your perspective uh, on whatever this is. Like, look at this from a different um, view. And also, it's important for some of y'all to make a decision, and I'm here and stand on it. Yeah. Because now whatever um, whatever this is, the timing is right right now. Some you and this if this is a relationship, I'm seeing that there are some differences here. It could be like um, you're spiritual, they're religious. It could be a different uh, difference in ethnicity. Um, I'm but I'm more so feeling like there's a different belief system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's time for some of y'all to simplify your lives as well. It's like removing things that you don't you know no longer serves you. It's like some of y'all here could benefit from rearranging your front uh your furniture like that feng shui or something like that. Also, um um somebody here needs to clean out their closets. Hmm. And do laundry. Yeah, this has something to do with a, a relationship, but not only a relationship with you and someone else, the relationship with you, uh, you and yourself, the relationship is with yourself. Yeah, it's time for you. I'm feeling collective to choose yourself because I'm feeling like y'all put a lot of people ahead of yourself. So now it's time for you to yeah, come back in harmony with yourself. This could ultimately improve the relationship that the relationship that you're in, as well as the relationship that you know you have around you with like other people. So let's just see what spirit has for us. This is the goddess oracle deck, you guys. Thank y'all so much for being here, subscribers. Watch us come in as lifers. Thank y'all all the same. You all help my channel grow, and I'm also very appreciative. Okay. Holy Spirit. Message. Oh, we got two, and they flipped out together. Yeah, kind-hearted and confide. It's time for you and somebody else to have, like, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I don't know if this is with this lover or this friend or whomever this may be, but I do feel like collective, there's a lot of things that you're going through that you're really closed lip about. Um, also, I'm feeling like a lot of y'all could benefit from getting back out into nature. There's someone here who you confide in something. Uh, I don't know if this is like a, uh, you confide in something, in some type of secret. I'm feeling like this person went around and told like the village. It was like telling this person was like putting it on big screen TV, child. Yeah, look, nature's beauty. I'm telling you, with kind hearted and, and nature's beauty, it's like a lot of y'all's attitudes could improve. I don't know if a lot of y'all are like going through something and you like lashing out or something like that. But it's like a lot of y'all could benefit from getting back out into nature. Also, um, find somebody that you can trust. I don't know if this is like a therapist or something like that. The number 48 is very significant here. Y'all, uh, there is a man, I don't, if y'all are in a relationship or if you're separated, there's a masculine out here who feels like um, you talk to your friends or your family or somebody too much about y'all's relationship. Yeah, we got understand. I'm hearing what I need from you is understand. Y'all know I can't sing. Anyway, y'all get the gist of it. 
But also, it's uh, it's important for y'all to understand who y'all can trust at this time. Because it's like a lot of y'all are very trusting individuals. But see, you know what? A listening ear becomes a running mouth. Also, with that perspective that we saw, it's time for y'all to like, um, if you want whatever this relationship is, friendship, relationship to work. It's time for you to stop talking so much and actually listen to what the other person has to say. Yeah, the color like uh, violet could be very significant. Or someone's name could be violet. Or that's someone's favorite flower. I don't know. I'm hearing growing communication. So a lot of y'all could be like uh, meeting someone new, whether this be a love interest or, you know, a friend. Hmm. Y'all, see, uh, be grateful for everything that you have. Also, I'm hearing don't litter. Respect uh, Gaia Mother Earth, please. I'm feeling like also, like if you're thinking about uh, going to counseling or something like that, this could give you a better understanding of yourself. This could help you ground yourself, not only getting back out into nature, but um, speaking with someone, like opening up. Also, y'all be careful of listening to like uh, gossip because a lot of these gossip and rumors, they're just like hot, uh, hot air, somebody blowing smoke up your ass. But also, there could be someone coming towards you that really needs a listening ear collective. So, y'all, you know, just take that energy how it resonates. I'm feeling like somebody here just wants somebody to understand where they're coming from. Something like that. Someone here is very nurturing, but I'm feeling like your heart is a little bit broken at the time. Mm. Yeah, I have a like a sadness, but I'm gonna make it through type uh energy coming through here. Yeah, self-care. Yeah, self-care. Speak kindly to yourself. When you're looking in the mirror, tell yourself how beautiful you are. You create your own reality here, collective. Also, some of y'all could take um Y'all could be, you could benefit very, very much from like a spiritual bath. I'm also feeling like somebody here is meeting someone new, but it's like you don't want to open up. Because in the past when you did, it's like somebody told all your secrets. Someone could have even used these secrets against you. It's feeling like I don't, you like, I don't know if I can trust this person. Somebody here, it's like you don't trust yourself right now when it comes to other people, especially in love. <laughs> yeah, companionship is what I'm saying. Y'all can trust this. Whomever, if you're in something new here, you can trust this person, I'm feeling. But don't move too fast here. Because it's like somebody here is like a hopeless romantic. And it's like... You dream you have like this uh fairy tale like thing going on in your head of what you want your relationship to be. That is where the perspective comes in at. It's like I'm feeling like a lot of y'all are putting unrealistic expectations on your partner. And this is something that someone needs to understand at this time. You can't have everything your way. But for those of y'all who are meeting someone new and you're wondering if you can uh, trust this person, I'm feeling like you can. Yeah, look, we have companionship and support. Self-care, companionship, and uh, support. This person is going to understand you on a whole different level than this past person. Collective. This person is going to actually... I'm feeling like this is an energetic uh, match for you, whomever this new person is. This is more of an energetic match to you than the than the past person collective. Yeah, I'm feeling like this person is gonna they're gonna embrace your angelic as well as your fiery side here. 
This person is going to allow you to be who you are. But at the same time, knowing that you need distance and, you know, you're the type of person that needs distance and, you know, time to yourself in order to reground, regroup. Somebody here has a lot of people gossiping about their um, their relationship or whatever this is. But don't worry because whatever this, um, your relationship or, you know, this new love, it is supported by the Most High. Yeah, some of y'all are meeting someone unexpectedly. I'm hearing unexpected pregnancy as well. It's like someone's been praying for a pregnancy. And I see a uh, spirit opening up and granting you that pregnancy, that baby, that child. Some of you are also, you haven't seen your father in a while or something like this. You know, the father of your children hasn't been around in a while. I feel like this person is going to come back around unexpectedly. But I'm feeling like unexpected blessings here as well. Yeah, because you're you're protected. You're supported. You have a lot of angelic presence around you. So I'm feeling like not only angel, you have a lot of like um fairy gods around you. Somebody here is gonna be like, okay, um, it's like you're gonna. I feel like somebody here is afraid to open up to whomever this new person is. Because in the past, you did open up to this other person and they put you in the same situation that you explained um, to them that you had come out of. I don't feel like you have to worry about that with this new person. I really don't. Also, I'm hearing your dreams are supported. Some of y'all's father or grandfather is your um is your um one of your uh your protective um I can't get that word out for anything. Your gods, your angels, your your guardian angels. The, um, this is this um this this ancestor of yours is who's guiding um this um, person right towards you. If you haven't met this new love yet, um, be patient because they are coming. This is somebody that, um, somebody is asking for the person that's made just for them. And I feel like, um, your prayers have been heard. They've been answered. Yeah, this is beautiful. There is an earth sign. Air, um, why do I say air? I meant fire. I got cars jumping all over the floor, y'all. Yeah, but this one that popped out is Grace. Someone's name could be Grace. But, like, move through this transition right here, whatever this is, gracefully. Collective. Also, remember that not everyone is the same. So you can't base your um, your your past, event, your, your future on your past. 1333, as I said that. Yeah, because you're going to have a lot of people in your ear. I don't know if this person is possibly older. Somebody is dealing with someone that has like a gray beard. This person could be um, a little bit older than you or younger. They could be younger than you, but look older than you. I feel like this person is the type of person that's going to want to sit and have like these long, like heart to heart talks with you. Especially, this is the type of person when you get quiet. They're going to be like, okay, you know, what's going on? Talk to me. Things like that. Whereas that this other person, I'm feeling like if something was going on, you could find this person. They go tell the whole world. Hmm. I'm hearing grace and mercy has brought me through. Exactly. See what I'm saying? You're very protected here. Supported. Yeah, but I'm hearing don't ignore the red flags with clues here. So collective, it's important here. Even if the, when this, if this, um, with this new love right here, ask questions. Don't just accept anything, and definitely don't ignore the red flags if there are any that you that happen to pop up 
Don't be closed now. Because I'm feeling like in the past you were possibly dealing with somebody who, um, whenever something came up, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could be having like a good time, whatever, whatever. You brought something up and it would just be like something exploded. Also, it's like, if you feel like this person is dealing with other people, say something. You don't have to bite your tongue about anything because this is a person who you're going to actually be able to sit and talk with. But I'm feeling like a lot of y'all not used to that because of what y'all went through in the past. Mm. So let's go ahead and get some tarot on this. We're 15 minutes in. Let's get some traditional tarot. Yeah, some of y'all could be dealing with the Virgo. I do have the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Aquarius as well because I have that star in that. But I'm feeling like if you're dealing with the Virgo and you're in Aquarius, somebody here is holding on to you. This could be a person that ghosted you. Yeah, this is something that happened really unexpectedly. But I'm, if someone did ghost you at this time, Collective, move through this situation with grace. Move through it with grace. I'm hearing stop searching for a lot of stuff too because I see seek and clues and intermingle is right up under there. Somebody here is searching out to see like, is this person dealing with this person? This is this. Um, don't cry out your brain with that. Spirit is going to bring all the information that you need right to you. Focus on yourself. Focus on continuing to move forward. Your self-care. Keeping yourself grounded here collective. Because whatever you it is you need to know, you're going to find out. Yeah, look, Ace of Wands, new beginning here. Some of this is about a, a new love. Some of y'all were dealing with a person in the past who refused to see themselves for exactly who they were. This person could have listened to a lot of different people, had a lot of different people in their ear. But I'm feeling like um, this person put you in a, a place where... You um, you had no choice but to stop focusing on them and focus on yourself. Some of y'all didn't want to, but you know that ultimately that, that past situation, it was not healthy. Yeah, look, death, Scorpio energy. You had to change that. You had to change it. Yeah, but even though some of y'all are heartbroken, you know, in your feelings or whatever, some of y'all may even go looking for something and find something. It's still important for you to move through this situation gracefully. Don't allow this situation to take you out of your character. Exactly. We have the six of wands coming out. Move gracefully past all of this. Keep your head up. Don't let uh, any gossip, any naysayers, nothing like that get to you. Keep going because I'm telling you, it's um, it's going to be worth your while. Yeah, some of y'all here, um, six of ones and we had a four of ones. I feel like somebody here, I don't know if you're looking for a home, but I feel like you're going to find a home. Also, I'm feeling like this new love is leading to marriage, y'all. Whomever is in a new relationship, I feel like, you know, this is your, this, like I said, your energetic match. This is going to be your husband, your wife. Yeah, I'm feeling like somebody's teenage daughters or, you know, don't even have to be teenage. But I'm feeling like the two of you possibly already have children together. I feel like y'all going to blend these families and your children are going to be like the best of friends here. Also, you and this new love, I see y'all building this strong bond where y'all can just like tell each other anything. It's going to be like very playful, like very childlike, but at the same time, very intimate. Yeah, I'm hearing hold on, change is coming. Don't worry about a thing, collective. Hmm. Some of y'all have been getting like messages, clues, stuff like that. These are being sent from spirit. Some of y'all are not like, uh, I'm feeling like some of y'all are so heavily trying to find out information on this person that you're ignoring your intuition a little bit. Oh, goodness gracious. Somebody didn't like that because my cards went all over the floor. Give me a second, collector. I'm talking about more than half the deck just flew on the 
Yeah, it could be a Sagittarius here. I do see the Temperance card is on the top. So let's jump in. Holy Spirit, give me more on this situation. It's very important to have patience, though. Yeah. Is my deck in reverse? Let me see. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we got the Eight of Wands, but it's coming. it came up in the reverse. So I feel like some of y'all should, should take a break from social media, like I said, because it's a lot of y'all on there. Yeah, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's like um somebody here is trying to find that information either on you, Collective, or this is you trying to find that information on someone else. It's time to back away from social media, whether it be like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Somebody here could be listening to Tarot way too much. <clears throat> But you know what? Also, what Spirit is saying, somebody didn't expect you to start loving on yourself and caring for yourself as much as you do. Because, like I said previously in the beginning of the reading, you put other people before yourself. Yeah, it could be an Aries here. You could have possibly cut communication with this Aries. Possibly even blocked them. To focus on yourself. And that uh, you blocking out this person, taking this leap of faith, is what's bringing in this new person. It's like once you finally decide to let go of whatever this is that's no longer serving you, everything that you want and need comes right through. Yeah, it's time for you to just work on yourself. Some of y'all stop being on social media while you're at work. Because I see people uh, talking about that. Yeah, such and such is on social media and not doing a work. Yeah, it could be a Gemini here. But I'm telling you, once you, once you leave that previous situation, that past situation for good, you have someone coming in that wants to work on something with you, actually build something solid. But I'm like, and again, we have Seek. It's nothing wrong with going to spirit and asking spirit, is this person right for you? You take as much time as you need. Nobody is saying you have to rush back into anything because I see a lot of y'all just came out of something. Oh. Mommy, they're done. Okay, okay. Here I come, okay, babe? Okay. Holy Spirit, give me more on the situation for the collective. Yeah, that Virgo is out there again. That Hermit card. I'm also seeing that some of y'all could use some rest. Like, yeah, rest from social media, rest from work. If you need a vacation, take it. And the Lover's card comes out. Some of y'all got somebody coming through here. It could be a Gemini. <clears throat> Does not have to be. If it is, I'm feeling like this person is a Gemini rising. But yeah, this person is gonna work on want to work on something very, very solid with you. Yeah, look, this person wants victory and success. From this new person, you're gonna get the recognition that this this old person never gave you. Yeah, I don't know if this old person never wants to post you on social media or you know, things like that. They rather do other stuff than work on this situation with you. Yeah, I feel like in this new situation could be a Leo here. Gonna be very happy. Leo, Gemini energy. But I feel like spirit is working, like working to bring you two together, seriously. Because somebody here has a closed off heart chakra. Yeah. Y'all, change your way of thinking here is what I'm feeling. Change the way that you think about the uh, about love. Some of y'all are single mothers. And it's like, uh-uh, I'm not doing it again. I've done that. It didn't work out. It could be a Capricorn, Gemini, Aries. I've done that before, and it turns out the same way every time. Like I was stating, don't let your past determine your, your future. Holy shit, give me more. Yeah, because I'm feeling like a lot of y'all, y'all been in this mindset for a while. Yeah, Page of Swords. I mean, Page of Wands. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Holy Spirit. Yeah, y'all need to focus on yourself. Like, I'm telling you, speak positive affirmations to yourself. Yeah, now we out of three of swords. Y'all, get over this heartbreak. Yeah, tell, because y'all staying in it too long, Spirit is saying. 
it's time to remove yourself from this heartbreak, this mindset that every time you try to work on something with somebody, it's going to fail. That's not the case. That is definitely not the case here. I don't see it anymore. Yeah, look, Ace of Wands, this new love is a new beginning here. And it's being handed to you from spirit. A lot of y'all asked for this. 25, 25. That's what I'm saying. Y'all asked for the person y'all was going to marry. Y'all asked for this. And here it is. A lot of y'all are asking for something that, that to be resurrected. I'm feeling like that too. But like I stated previously, use your discernment because we do have the three of swords right there. Yeah, it could be a Leo. Sun card. But I'm feeling like this new love, new beginning and happiness. Yeah, why? Because you deserve it. You deserve it. Holy Spirit, one more card for the collector. One more card, Holy Spirit. Yeah, look, the Six of Wands and the Queen of Swords gave me two. Six of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Y'all, be enthusiastic about this new beginning. Move forward gracefully. Because you, you have somebody here who actually wants you wants to go the long haul with you. Victory, success, recognition. I'm feeling marriage. This is your soulmate here. Yeah. There's no need for you to wonder, ignore this person, not accept this person's cup. Because this is somebody that spirit sent to you. All right, y'all. Let's be real. If the video resonated, please like, comment, as well as subscribe, and we'll get back up.